So the Realme UI 2.0 update is finally rolling out at least to the Realme X50 Pro for now and luckily we now have two units, one of them having the Realme UI 1.0 and that's based on Android 10 while the Realme UI 2.0 with Android 11 as, as its base. So you firstly see the difference here itself, that's with the always on display. Of course, always on is going to work with the AMOLEDs and not all the Realme smartphones. So at least with the Realme X50 Pro you're seeing that. But what are the other changes? What are the major changes that you find to, on the Realme 2, UI 2.0 when compared to the 1.0? Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching a quick comparison of the two Realme UIs 2.0 versus 1.0 on the same smartphone. That's the Realme X50 Pro. So now let's start this and firstly check out the about section to show you how do they actually differ. So if you go into the about phone section of the two smartphones, you can see that the two are the same, Realme X50 Pro 5G and uh, it's Android 11, Android 10 and uh, version 2.0 versus 1.0. If you go into this, uh, you can see the animations uh, or the Easter egg that's uh, different this time and this is the Android 11 based Realme UI 2.0 here. Now, if we start with the home screen, firstly we are on the dark mode which is one of the major changes. Dark mode isn't only the regular dark mode that you see on the Realme UI 1.0 because if you go into the 2.0 and check out the dark mode under the display settings, what you're going to see is a wholesome difference here. So firstly, you're going to get the quick switcher between the light and dark in the display and brightness settings. You're not seeing that here. You have the dark mode options and if you tap on the left of it, you're going to see these few things. The same switcher is inside this, not the switcher. It, it would actually give you the comparison there. That's it. And it won't be the switcher. And you have the option of turning this on or off at this place and not on the regular place. That's one difference. But the main thing is here, not the switcher, but the settings here. You have now three options that's enhanced dark mode, the medium dark mode and the gentle. So the grayscale is going to change for someone who's not into a lot of this and they feel like, yeah, it should not be, it should not be this dark. And this would work more into the AMOLED panels and not on the regular ones. So you have this switcher here for the gentle, medium and enhanced. And you have these options which you don't see on the Realme UI 1.0. Adjust wallpapers to dark mode. So the wallpapers that you're seeing right now on the display, that would also get uh, adjusted to dark mode here. And uh, that's one difference. And apart from that, you have the adjusting of the icons to dark mode. So icons is another very important change here. I mean, not just adjustment of uh, the icons to the dark mode, but also I'll let you know about the third party applications. Dark mode for third party apps is another addition. So these are the things, but we'll talk about the icons later. Now, if you go into the regular light mode, you see there's no difference otherwise, but the dark mode is going to be really, really different here. And uh, it's going to be something that will give users a lot of options. And this is auto switching. Auto switching is uh, for uh, kind of sunrise to sunrise, uh, sunrise and uh, um, custom. So that is present here as well. You can schedule the time or you can have it from sunset to sunrise, but otherwise you can actually go into the settings and change the way you want to use the dark mode. Now, the next one, as I said, if you check out the home screen here, we have these on the regular one on the dark and one on the regular. Let me now switch both of them to the light mode itself so that it gets better for your viewing here. So this is the home screen, no difference there, apart from the icons, uh, shapes, and that all can be changed. Now, if we pinch here, you see these options, uh, that is uh, the customization options for the home screen. You had the wallpapers, widgets, and everything here, effects, these three, and then you had the settings. But now, wallpapers, icons, icons can be directly switched from here. You have the layout option, widget options here, transitions, and more. So now under more options, what you see are these things. So you have the options of uh, third party icons. That was what I was going to talk about. So icon style, if you go into this one and icon style, and if you go to the same here as well, you have the option of uh, icons here that is third party. You don't see the option here, but I have installed one of the apps that is viral. And now you have the support for third party icons and that's one of the major changes that was not present earlier. So Realme UI 2.0 finally supports third party icons. So if you're someone who likes to use some third party icons and change the way your entire interface change uh, looks that you can do from Realme UI 2.0. Now under the notification shade, if you come into this, these are the notification shades. You can see it's a plain blank 
uh, white color shade on this one but this is one uh, this one area is the translucent one while it's only the quick settings that is going to have that white area or the black area based on the dark mode and if you are choosing dark mode over the regular one but do the quick settings change here that's one question so this one thing that has changed quick settings don't really change but there's one addition to the features that's app lock now you have a quick switcher for the app lock so you can directly turn app lock on or off from the quick settings itself that's one addition in the new realme ui 2.0 so i haven't set it up but you can at least now see that you have the quick settings for app lock here so that's uh, a new change or a new addition under your realme ui 2.0 the next change is for gamers uh, one of the major changes is under the game space if you go into the game space here which is uh, the default uh, game enhancement tool for uh, uh, realme smartphones now if you check out here it was a regular game mode here and uh, this is the game center that we actually tapped on yes uh, game space is the next one so now there are major changes here i mean it's a completely immersive mode that you see on the game space on the realme ui 2.0 not just the way it looks but also what it offers so firstly if you go into this one you have the option of uh, com competition mode balance mode and power uh, low power mode so that's the same here but the options here are pretty easy to understand pretty easy to switch between and once you go into low power mode it will show you how much is the cpu and gpu performance now and if you go into the competitive mode it also has this quick sound that would let you know that okay you are now into full power and you can play games in a better way and you're gonna get the full performance from the smartphone and these are the only options apart from that you have a uh, smart dual channel network and brightness lock on the previous game space on the realme ui 1.0 but now on the 2.0 you have quick startup brightness lock which was already there and automatically adjust resolution so resolution of the smartphone is a full hd plus but it would sometimes go down to 720p and i guess not many would actually really uh, get to know that change but it would in turn help uh, adjust or help save power and increase the battery life so that automatic adjustment of resolution is something new that you see on the game space and apart from that you have the network acceleration also you have the network priority and the blocking of the notifications and rejection of the calls so under settings of the same uh, if you go into the settings you have the launch uh, launch of a screen anime launch screen animation yeah that was not present earlier and also the game suggestions so game suggestion is a smart service that provides in game suggestions to help you optimize your gaming experience such suggestions may include new game space features network optimization tips and game strategy so i mean it is only for a few games not for all but then it would analyze your game and it would give you suggestions for that gameplay that is also something new added on the realme ui 2.0 so one another addition to the realme ui 2.0 is this uh, uh, shifting of all the applications from one folder to the other right now if i want to do this if i have to shift from this app to the other folder i can just do it individually from one folder to the other but you can't ent entirely transfer one folder to the other one so that isn't possible right now on the, the realme ui 1.0 but on the 2.0 you can do that just hold this push it into this and all the applications from that folder would enter into this one pretty easy and pretty handy for someone who wants a, a less cluttered interface and again with this one as well so this is the new feature if you go into the home screen personalization you can't change things like earlier but you can push this to the top or towards the bottom the entire set of applications uh, that can be pushed from top to bottom in this way that, that just requires a simple swipe and that would easily change the placement of the applications based on your requirement next one is with the qr code for hotspots so if you share your hotspot you don't want to share your wi-fi password there or the hotspot as password with anyone and you can easily still do the sharing of the hotspot by going to uh, the wireless connections and sharing personal hotspot if i turn on the hotspot on both the devices what you see here is a new option for qr code and if i tap on that there would be a qr code for uh, scanning that and entering the hotspot so that's a new addition as well and that's quite a good addition actually you can actually easily now share the hotspot with others new feature one more added to the realme ui 2.0 is this one that's the system cloner you don't have the cloner uh, earlier so now you have that option of cloner under the privacy settings you have app cloner which was present earlier but system cloner is something new which would create a completely new interface with everything that was already present but you can have it with a separate security you can actually uh, have your fingerprints uh, scanned there and have a separate interface to enter there 
so you have the syncing of the notifications quick switching and cloning of all the applications so kind of a dual space but again you have even the fingerprint option for the security over there so one more difference here is with the app drawer so if you check out the app drawer here you don't have any option towards the top here what you see is alphabetically uh, placed applications and then the top line using the frequently app applications and on the uh, this thing on the realme ui 2.0 you have the option of sorting the apps so it's easy here now you can have the uh, one that is most used the most used apps on the top and then you also have the sorting of uh, apps based on the install time the latest one was the icon pack that i used so that can be actually uh, seen in that way now you can select the applications directly from here and uh, then you can add or you can actually you can add that to the home screen and you can then also delete them or uninstall them so that's easier and that's an easy way you can actually uh, work on multiple applications at once unlike what you can do on the realme ui 1.0 is do everything on every single application separately now under the camera application there are some changes i mean one of the big changes here is the inertial zoom feature that is for video recording when you do the video recording what happens is i can't give you a demo here but you can control the speed of the zooming that you are doing while you are recording the video so the option for that is given under the video settings you have the inertial zoom here under the video you don't find it on the realme ui 1.0 but on the 2.0 you have the uh, inertial zoom select a speed and then touch and hold on the screen to zoom in and out smoothly so if you go here under the video you have the option of uh, inertial zoom towards this side and that would actually help you control the speed of it now the second feature or the second difference here under the realme ui 2.0 is this one you have the new composition feature composition is to uh, have the grids and guides for photo diagonal lines also the gold spiral everything can be actually used well and the guidelines is uh, basically for taking a photo in a particular proper position so if you're someone who's going to take a, a vertical shot just like i'm doing a video here uh, with the phone you can actually center the exact point there and match that point and then take the photo so that you know you took a photo at exact 90 degree angle or 180 degree angle so that's what the new composition feature is in the camera application so for now these are the major features that i also found under the realme ui 2.0 over the realme ui 1.0 and also before we end one of the features that we see here is this as well so if you go into the settings and there are two things to note here one is this the personalizations which was not present on the 1.0 but what does this do it actually gives you a shortcut and this is similar to how you uh, see it on the oxygen uh, os as well so it gives you one entire space of personalizing everything you can change icon styles you can change the app layout you can change the fingerprint style and the colors the font and display size everything even the edge lighting can be changed from here that you can do separately on separate areas on the 1.0 now you have everything clustered at a single place so that there's no confusion you don't need to work around and look around for each and everything separately now if you go into the always on display under the display and brightness if you see the always on display here you have the options on both of them but now there's a major change here as well if you go into this options the screen of content you can either have the mantra or you can have everything else turned on if you have all of these clock date battery and notifications turned on you can not use mantra now if you activate this one it would uh, deactivate everything else but under mantra as well you have only the option of these things like uh, having the color of the text changed and uh, also the alignment changed and have one of the texts there so that's what uh, it was on the uh, lock screen or the turned off always on display but here you can change a whole lot of things now you have the option of text plus uh, the picture here and not just that you have some custom patterns with the clocks and these actually really look beautiful they change the way you actually see your smartphone so these are the different uh, custom patterns that you see here and you also have the text options uh, which are these text and image options as well and you all have the option of analog clock digital clock as well so these are the different things that are now changing on the realme ui 2.0s always on display as well so there are some major differences it's not that uh, the ui is only changing a bit for the namesake it's actually a major upgrade it's not just android 11 that you're seeing here 
but also the way you can customize your smartphone, the way you can use your smartphone and get a better user experience. That's what you are seeing on the Realme UI 2.0. But anyway, we would be doing the Realme UI 2.0 walkthroughs whenever we see the update on any other smartphone because it's important to see how it performs and what are the options given when you don't have a AMOLED display. This one is with the Super AMOLED one. So obviously you are seeing those always on and those features, but for the ones that don't have it, for example, the phones like the Realme 6, Realme 7, Realme, uh, 6 Pro as well. So those smartphones, we need to see how they perform and how's the Realme UI 2.0 on them. For now, that's it. This was the quick demo of the Realme UI 2.0. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.